Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to set up a gaming mouse on a Mac computer. This process works for all Macs and I've got a Logitech G500 here hooked up to a, a Mac Mini running uh, OS X 10 Mountain Lion. So let's head into the process and first let me show you what it really does. Uh, I've got a neat uh, setup right here. Uh, you can change the pointer speed settings with your DPA settings. Then you have, uh, then I've set up these buttons right here for multitasking. Then I've set up the scroll tilt uh, for web browsing. So let me show you my setup really quick. Uh, pressing the pressing the thumb button right here, the below one takes me into expose. Okay, uh, that doesn't really work with the screen flow running, but it does take me to expose. Then I can move a uh, workspace back then a uh, workspace forward okay and then uh, these uh, these wheel wheel uh, functions is normal with the scroll but uh, tilting it towards the left will take me a page back and tilting it towards the right will take me a page forward so that was my setup and let's head into the process uh, you will need a uh, windows machine or you can use a boot camp but you cannot use parallels because uh, of the kernel maybe but you will need a windows machine or a boot camp and then you will need to download the original software of the mouse and configure the mouse and uh, I'll show you that in a second so guys once you're on your windows computer uh, you will need to download or install the uh, gaming software uh, sorry I mean the mouse software for your mouse and then you will need to select onboard memory the mouse memory to be precise the memory on your mouse then you need to go to uh, your settings and then first of all you will need to change the reports per second on your G500 settings it's right here the reports per second by default uh, on most of the gaming mouse it's around 1000 or maybe 1200 but you need to go below 1000 because Mac doesn't support 1000 and above I've got mine to 500 uh, that's fine uh, you need to keep it below 1000 after that you will need to change the scroll set the DPI sensitivity settings uh, you can see mine right here uh, I got five levels and I suggest you to space this out properly until unless you have a specific uh, you want to have a specific setting and after the, after your uh, pointer speeds and your report per second you will need to uh, uh, change the bu um, button settings on your mouse that's right beside the um, pointer settings okay right here uh, you can see you will need to set these up to basic settings don't select any uh, extra functions uh, I'm going to show you for one button right here go into uh, this don't select use generic go into edit then select one button uh, like maybe one two three four five uh, those are your buttons that you can select for their special buttons and okay uh, but I don't I don't uh, recommend you selecting left click or right click because those will be taken up by your default right click and left click so you've got uh, middle click will be for your scroll click so you've got left with uh, button 4 and button 5 which I've set up for my uh, thumb buttons for forward and backward and then uh, after doing that uh, you cannot really change the DPI buttons so you you gonna have to leave it on that your left button don't re don't change it scroll left leave it like that scroll right middle click button 3 then right click that's all I guess and uh, then you can move on to your Mac so guys on your Mac you will need to download this software called USB overdrive I'm gonna put the link down in the description um, so after you've opened the website go to download and download the latest version right here and after you've downloaded that uh, you'll get a DMG file uh, so open it and you will get uh, this mounted drive right here open it and you will uh, need to install this package I've already done it so I'm not gonna do it again uh, so just click on install it'll do it itself it'll ask you to restart and after restarting it uh, you need to you need to go into your system preferences and after going into after the installation part of it you will see this new uh, application right here under the other tab which says USB overdrive 
you will leave that but let's just leave it for now we need to go into keyboard for now so just go into keyboard and in un, and go into machine control so uh, you will need to change the default shortcut for move a left space to this one and we are going to do it by uh, double clicking it and when we select it you will need to hold down your command key I'm going to repeat it again hold down your command key and press the left button and uh, you will see this and we are going to do the same for move a right space uh, double click it uh, it gets selected then hold down the command key and press the right arrow key and you'll see this so uh, for exposure I have this right here I guess so, uh, so we're gonna do the same for this one also I guess uh, hold on for a sec yeah for mission control again double click it and we're gonna set that to the up arrow key so hold down your command button and the up arrow and there you go and after you've done these three settings you are basically good to go with the USB overdrive application so after changing these three settings go back and go into USB overdrive and when you go into USB overdrive this app does it really nicely just press the button you want to configure so uh, let's just show you how to do that So over here, uh, go after you go into the app, just uh, uh, select the. Uh, I'm gonna select the back, uh, the this button right here. It's uh, uh, suppose you can call it the back button. Just tap now. The we are gonna select. Uh, we are gonna set up the next button. Then just tap on the next. Uh, the forward key is gonna take you to its corresponding button. Just select. Uh, just uh, select the. Uh, default setting right here tap on the right button and select the command key and we're gonna do it again for the um, mission control button just select the mission control button it'll take you to the uh, uh, settings for that button select up key and select command and that's all for these three buttons the multitasking buttons then we're gonna move to the uh, web browsing buttons which is your left tilt and your right tilt so just left tilt your button it'll take you to the corresponding settings again my one says pan down that's fine you're gonna select keyboard shortcut and then you're gonna select back and uh, for the right uh, tilt right tilt it keyboard shortcut and then forward and for the for these buttons if it's not for default you're gonna tap it when you tap it you might have to select press key mine was uh, by default so just select press key and uh, hold on so uh, you're gonna select press key then command sorry then the up key and just select command and after you're done over here just close the window and you're good to go so you will get mine configuration which will be next back back and then when you select this machine control you should you won't be able you won't be able to see it on my computer because i'm running screen flow and uh, expose it doesn't really work with screen flow otherwise this button really works and you're good to go and you move on to your web browser uh, tilt left for back tilt right for forward and you're good to go so guys thanks for watching and leave a thumbs up below if this really helped and uh, don't forget to subscribe as we post more videos. Thank you guys.